Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Hyper Rogue. That's the game we're playing, and I would never forget it. I don't know why you would even suggest that. I had a, I had a pretty brief and embarrassing episode last game, or I guess... It's funny, uh... It's equally valid, I suppose, to say uh, uh, an embarrassing game last episode. But I actually meant embarrassing episode, not in the sense of like a YouTube episode, but like, I don't know, when you have a psychotic break and it's like an episode, uh, you know, have you been having any of your episodes recently? Uh, it felt like, like that. It was, it was a bad episode. <laughs> uh, you know, our, our character did not have a good time. See ya. Woo, I love these orbs of whatever it is. I wish I could get these everywhere. I'm not sure if I can. It says they protect you from fires. I'm not sure if that would like work. Like I assume if I had one in a minefield, it would work. The question is just like, can they only spawn in icy areas? Because I've seen plenty of orbs of flash elsewhere. When I get enough uh, of these ice diamonds, I see orbs of flash elsewhere. But I haven't to my knowledge, seen any orbs of winter anywhere else. Uh, yeah, let's just melt all this. 25, perfect. So I don't know. It would, I think it would, I think they work in Kokaitis at least, if we ever find our way back there again. Although maybe not. I forgot. I was like, I'll just walk over here and kill that guy. But that's that's not how this works. In the land of eternal motion, you don't fight anything. Just gotta keep running. Just keep running. I don't really want to go to a crossroads right now. I want to grab a few more of these phoenix feathers. I also want to go to Slime Land. I like Slime Land. I'm gonna need you dogs to like get the heck out of here, all right? We're up to 11. Okay, we can leave now if we want. I saw something to the northeast, but I don't think I can really get there. Oh god, Zebra. Oh, an orb of safety, huh? Two orbs of safety. Well, I guess I'll take one. We landed at a warped coast. That's fine, I guess. Alright, we need to fight this guy, but we need to pass a turn, so we have to chop down a tree. Now we can go looking for coral. Yeah, we're gonna have to get off the boat to fight this guy. And I don't want to just let him wander around forever. I do want to fight him. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Oops. I'm going to have to keep fighting, apparently. There we go. Ah, I keep... Moving is weird in here, guys. I know you're aware of that, but... Just, like... Sometimes I notice it more than others. Like, I I still make mistakes moving around uh, where I press a button and it doesn't go to the square I think it's going to go to. Uh, I do that, like, everywhere. But I do it a lot more here in the Warped Coast. See, there, I thought I was getting in the boat. And there's these lines drawn to help me figure out where a button is going to take me, but I don't really understand how to read them, so... Uh, yeah, I can just fight this guy normally. Not this one, though. Let's hop in another boat and go coral fishing. You don't really fish for coral, I assume. Maybe you do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll stay on the sea for now. No, nope, time to get out of the ocean. Yeah, 
you just gotta adjust for these guys. If you notice that you're on the same shape they are, it means you can't ever attack them. And so you adjust that by hitting a bush, and then you can. Right now, this guy is on a different shape, so we'll be able to get to him eventually. See? There we go. Now we're on a different shape, so there we go. Got him. And uh, let's just leave. Ta-da! Zebra. I hate zebra so much. I've only been there a couple times. Maybe even only once? I don't remember. It's scary. Living Fjord, Palace, Warped Coast. Let's do a palace, I guess. What's this, though? A minefield. I like the minefield. It's fun. No mines next to me. Great. So let's confirm my hypothesis that you can just see as far back as you want the way you came. We came from the palace, we came from... Well, evidently not this living fjord, huh? There's a living fjord somewhere we came from. Or not living fjord, warped coast. Wasn't there? And it was pretty near the palace, I thought. But it's just like, I can't find it. I can trace my way all the way back to the crossroads, but from there, I can't... Did we come from up here? No. This doesn't, like, super matter, but I would like to understand the mechanics. A different living fjord, I guess. It's so confusing, though. There's a palace. Or Warped Coast. Is, uh, is this the Warped Coast we came from? We can see pretty far in it, it seems like. Uh, but I can't... There seems to be like a pretty clear boundary. I don't know. Yeah, you can actually get yourself into like a spot where you can't even figure out where... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Forget it. Uh, what is the button to like stop looking around? What if I press T? It does nothing. Alright. Whatever. No mines next to me. Let's go hunting for eggs. Whoa. Dangerous area there. Let's try to go around. Okay. Oh, of course, I can just step on this cell and then walk to the thing. Fine. There is a mine. All right. What I know for certain is there is no mine here. And here. Great. <sighs> Let's head for all of these this goodies here. Hmm. Uh I wish that I could point at a cell and like be told whether I've explored it before. I guess I can, right? It says minefield, or cell without mine, if I know whether there's something there. And then if I see it say cell without mine, I can look at what color it is. All right. But uh, let's step on this orb of flash. I know it's safe. And I know that these eggs are safe, just because that's how eggs are, as far as I know. How are we doing on these things, by the way? Uh, eight of them? Let's head over towards this area. Oh, look at all that stuff up there, huh? Okay, we found a mine north-northwest of us, which means there's no other mines next to this square, and we can just step up here. Great. Uh, we picked up enough things to get us to uh, 20, sorry, to 60 total, and we have 10 of these guys. Okay. 
So I think Minesweeper has just always been revealing everything adjacent to me, and I just never noticed. Everything adjacent to me, if I could afford to walk to them, in much the same way that Minesweeper does when you click on an empty square. Well, except it doesn't go all the way, huh? Okay. Um, don't think I yet know where any mines are for sure in that neighborhood. But I can just run this way. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of mines in that area. Let's see, I know there's a mine two tiles northeast-ish of me, so I can walk north safely. Um, I can still walk east safely. And there's only one mine next to me here, which means I can go northwest now. Fine. No mines next to me. Great. Let's grab this. And let's head to Mirrorland. Um, if I can find a way. What do I know so far? Well... What I would like to do is pick up these guys, I guess. <clears throat> There's a dry forest up there. We've never been to one of those. Jungle? Did we do rubies? We didn't do rubies yet. But I'm not sure I can get there, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, I can, I can walk that direction anyway, because... <clears throat> the square southeast of me is safe. And now this double this this green one to the west of me has the, the two tiles north and northwest of me uh, are filling it up, which means that there are no other mines next to the square I'm on, so I can go northeast. And I'm making my way towards the forest. I can still go northeast. Mm. No. It's less clear. I don't think I can, can I? Um, but I can go west, I guess. That's not inspiring a lot of confidence. <laughs> uh, okay, let's back up and go east from here. All right, we found someplace safe-ish. There's a bird coming. I'd still like to get up in this northwesterly direction if I can. Maybe it was dangerous to put a mine there, but I think it was fine. Uh, two mines next to me, yes, fine. That The one I just put down and the one northwest of me. But that means that if I step west, there's no other mines next to this square, so I can go north, north. That's a tree. I can cut those down, right? Yes. There is one mine next to me. Do I know where it is? Uh, no. Do I know where it's not? Yes, I know it's not southwest. Great, and this discovered an exit. So how does this place work? It's a... Uh, bushfires. <laughs> Okay. So grass catches fire somehow. And we got our first ever fern flower. I assume there are monsters of some kind in this place. But so far... Maybe there aren't, actually. Maybe it's just fires. Ah, the hedgehog warriors, of course. Remember that uh, you kill them not by bumping into them, but by walking past them. I overhear hedgehog warriors talking about emeralds. What? Alright. 
What did we get 20 of? Bomber bird eggs? It would be nice to get five more of those. I guess. On the other hand, I don't actually... Ooh, this guy's gonna be a little bit troublesome to take care of, isn't he? So is this guy? Uh, let's go here and here. And then just do that same song and dance again. What monster is this? A fire fairy? They transform into fires when they die. Okay. So those are the enemies in here. Fire fairies and hedgehog warriors. And the fire fairies cause the fires. I need to get into the open somehow. So that I can fight these hedgehog warriors a bit more effectively. Here, just die, please. <clears throat> Let's just chop this guy up. Pew pew! Alright. Oh man, there's a there's a big old fire over there, huh? Let's walk away from it. But it'll spread so slowly, we can easily outdistance it. We already have that was our tenth fern flower. Alright, that wasn't bad at all. Do we want to stick around and try to get more? Maybe not. Yeah, this fire is catching up to me a little quick. <laughs> okay, and it does it does mention how hot the fires are. Or the little the grass. Alright. Well here we go into the living fjord, I suppose. A hedgehog warrior followed me. to fight them and normal enemies at the same time. What is this? A land of eternal motion. We have enough phoenix feathers, right? Yeah. On the one hand, the main threat in here is water elementals. On the other, I have certainly been killed by other things in here, so I can't afford to only pay attention to water elementals by any means. How are we doing? Eight of these guys? I see two more this way. Just gonna need to commandeer your boat, sir. And now I would like to find an... Uh, stay out of the boat! Uh-oh! Ah! The land is going away! I think we I think we got out of there, though. Okay. Phew. Just find me an exit, that's all I ask. Ooh, what's up north? A, Car a Caribbean spot. There's also a sea border over there. Did I see what it was? An ocean. Yeah, I'll take that. That sounds way safer. But there's a water elemental chasing me. Alright, well, we're gonna have to outdistance him until and find some land. Any idea? I don't see any coast anytime soon. But it's in this direction. Uh, problems. Yeah, that was that was real bad. Uh, since the water elemental destroys non-magical boats, and I don't know what a magical boat is, but I don't know. Maybe I misunderstand how water elementals work, and I could have just turned around and hit him. But I think he would have drowned me. So uh, yeah, that guy was a real problem. There you go. Now we're dead. 90, 91 treasures. I mean, not our worst game ever. But, uh... Eh. I'd like to get another crack at the Orb of Yendor, but I don't think that's going to happen for quite a while. If I try to collect more orbs before I get there. Also, the times on these games seem like total lies. It has not been 39 minutes. How long have I been recording? 
20 minutes. So like time is going by twice as fast in this made up universe. Anyway, uh, pushing a button there brought me back to the main screen, but uh, we're not starting a new uh, a new run just now. This, this, this video is definitely over. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.